What's up guys, I'm back. It's been a while. Haven't really recorded anything in months. And that's really just because I haven't felt like it. You know what I mean? But I wanted to record this time because tomorrow I have my first ever half marathon race. And today's the day prior to that. So I just wanted to record what I'm doing to prepare, what I'm eating today. Actually, I just got out of the gym. I did a little push session, and I already ate breakfast, so I'm gonna put that on the screen right now as to what I ate, the macros and all that. But yeah, the session felt really good actually. The camera just fell. So I did some low to high cable flies, just chest, shoulders, triceps. Oh, I'm just gonna hold my camera instead. I'm gonna drive with one hand. Anyways, yeah. So I'm about to get home and show y'all what I'm about to eat for uh, post workout. All right guys, so I actually wanted to show y'all my massage gun that I got. It's actually pretty badass by uh, Bob and Brad. <laughs> um, you know, you just hold it for a second, turns on, first setting, you know, decent speed, and just keep pressing it, and it gets faster and faster. Fuck yeah. It's really nice, dude, it's helped me a lot in recovery and it's overall soreness, preventing soreness as much as I can, all that shit. I got a tortilla. 100 grams of cheese, 6.5 ounces of uh, chicken breast, the seasonings I'm gonna be using, salt, pepper, chili powder, paprika, oregano, and onion powder, and some cilantro and onion I'm gonna throw in there. It's gonna taste pretty good. Boys are well seasoned. And what a fucking mess. <laughs> I guess so meanwhile, I'm gonna show y'all what I've been drinking in terms of hydration. So so I've been using these switchback electrolytes. Um, this guy I follow on Instagram named Jeremy Miller. He sells these, they're pretty good. Like, you know, only five calories per serving. Um, we can really see that, it's pretty dark. But a lot of good ingredients, man. The essential sodium, magnesium, potassium for electrolytes. Not underdosed as usual drinks are. Like Prime and shit like that. But yeah, I have one, I have a scoop every morning really helps because I always wake up really dehydrated for some reason. Well, I guess most people do, but, you know, just gotta take care of that. And I've actually been drinking this, well, not really, like, all the time, but I have this pre-workout from Bucked Up, you know, it's called BAMF. Not really sure what that stands for, but the three main reasons I got this, caffeine, a lot of caffeine, the beta alanine, which I enjoy, and the convenience, because I got it from Academy. And I needed a pre-workout, like, on the fly. I didn't really want to wait in order. Which I, sh I probably should have, because I don't really use that pre-workout as much. Um, I'm actually planning on trying the Gorilla Mine pre-workout. Because um, at the gym I, I go to, they sell these uh, energy drinks, the canned ones, in the vending machines. And I, I've been getting one every day this, this past couple weeks, so I might as well just invest in the actual product that they sell. So, yeah. Boys starting to fry up a bit. In case you were wondering what tortilla I use, I just use a plain Mission Power Tortilla. Not so bad, just 210 calories, 35 grams of carbs, 6 grams of protein. Fills me up. And I use this uh, reduced fat mozzarella. Really good macros as well, 70 calories, 6 grams of protein, 8 grams of protein, excuse me. Pretty good. I bought this like a couple days ago, it's already almost out. Damn. I guess I love cheese. And on the side. I'm gonna mix these up. <laughs> so they mix that up. Beautiful, man. I just love that color. A little orange sauce, you know what I mean? Let me some good old blackened chicken. As I wait, I'll enjoy one of these. Boom. Taste test. Wonderful. Didn't use all of it. It's actually quite a bit. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I don't know, leave it somewhere. There, cool. <laughs> Fuck, so much for a drizzle. Boom, less taste. Seven, <laughs> I'm just playing. I like a nine. Sure. Back guys. I'm on my way to the packet pickup uh, in Irving, Texas. Directions. 
According to this, I am an hour away. Yeah, it's gonna be a little long drive, so I got a <laughs> energy drink. I probably shouldn't really be promoting them because I'm starting to realize that a lot of them don't really have the greatest ingredients. But, you know, I like caffeine. I should definitely lower my consumption of it, but, you know, I enjoy this drink. It tastes good, you know, it gives me some energy. But, at the end of the day, I know this is hypocritical because I drink a lot of energy drinks, but, you know, using your natural source of energy, like from sleep, recovery, all these things, proper diet and exercise, that's the number one energy source out there. So, yeah. I'll see you guys um, when I pick up my stuff from the packet pickup. I'm just gonna show you what I got. I don't really know what's in there, to be honest. I haven't read anything. I'm not really too prepared, to be honest, but we're going. We have arrived at the packet pickup. All right, I'm gonna pull the car around. Sir, bag secured. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you what I got in the bag. I don't really know what's in here, to be honest, but we'll see. First things first. Bib. It says I'm in Corral A. Thirteen thousand six hundred and four. And yeah, <laughs> half marathon. We got this flyer thing, I guess to sign up for the next race or advertising it. It's a cool shirt, Irving Frost, large. It's pretty big to be honest, but maybe I'll use it for like, I don't know, pump cover, <laughs> memorabilia. A couple more things. Another fun run thing for uh, the officer here. And sticker, nice. Here to get the hairs on our face ripped off, so my eyebrows right now. Show out the after results. Got them done. Looking pretty good, to be honest. Kind of hurt a little bit, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Usually, when I come after not going for like a month, it sucks. But finally, on my way back home. It's been a while. A lot of traffic on the way here back to Terrell close to my hometown um, where I'm getting my eyebrows where I got my eyebrows done it was pretty frustrating but no, I'm finally getting home I'm gonna show you guys my uh, pre-run not really a meal kind of a snack I'm just, gonna eat, I'm just gonna eat some honey like two tablespoons of honey and I'm gonna go on my shakeout run before the race my organic raw honey measure out 21 grams I'm gonna be wearing my New Balance 1080 V13s, some Adidas, light blue shorts. I actually ordered these Lululemon running socks. I'm not sure if they're that great, to be honest. They're only nine bucks um, from $22. So I got like three pairs for less than 30 bucks. That would have been like 70 if I had not gotten a discount. So I just took them. I'm not sure if they're that great, like I said, but I'm gonna try them out. Got the running hat. Nike, pretty basic, but I like wearing it backwards. It looks cooler. I think it's a little dirty. I need to clean it. I wonder what the fuck that is. Looking sick. I'm gonna do a little band warm up. Ten deep squats. Oh, lateral walks. Ten each side. Kick ups. Tang leg, glute band kickbacks, tang leg, hip abductors, tang leg. We're done. All right, guys, we arrived at our destination. It's kind of creepy out here. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, but get this done. It's just 20 minutes, man. So yeah, let's get to it. Start. All right, so what I wanted to talk about during this run was actual goals that I'm setting for tomorrow my race realistically I'd like to get a sub seven minute pace per mile so 
that marathon is 13.1 miles. So for those those 13.1 miles, I'd like to average at least a 659 or less or faster, you know. But my next goal, which is the more unlikely one, would be a sub 130. So less than an hour and a half. Which would mean I'd have to run each mile at a 650 pace. Which is pretty tough. I've been working out at that pace, but not running a lot in that in that in that range. So I have to really push myself tomorrow. The circumstances would have to be perfect for that. So yeah. I'm not sure. And another thing I wanted to discuss was every time I start running, taking it more serious. The same hip slash glute slash it's just in the right leg issue seems to come up and over the last couple weeks it's been kind of bothering me which sucks i've had to kind of push through a bit which isn't really the smartest thing to do but you know i put in some good work to prepare for this uh this event so you know it's not like crazy crazy pain but it's something that i really have to deal with if i really want to start running seriously like i'm trying to because i want to i just want to see what i'm capable of i don't want to waste what i can do after this race i have a week off planned from running and during that week i'm going to go to this place called kinetic chain in dallas and they're going to assess my leg you know give me a i'm guessing they're going to give me a a time to recover. They're gonna give me a treatment plan, and I'm hoping with that they let me know how long I have to sit out. I'm for sure gonna have to sit out from running, which sucks, but I hope I can find ways to keep up my endurance, or my fitness, excuse me, both. I guess endurance goes into fitness, but yeah. I heard swimming's actually really good. I would bike, but every time I, in, I do the indoor bike at the gym, my legs start hurting, which fucking sucks. So that's kind of out of the question. Weightlifting. My legs feel fine during my legs. Leg sessions. Upper body is not really going to be used. So, like I said, I'm just going to have to wait on what they say. The doctors, so I'm going to take their word for it. Hoping no longer, no longer than two to three months. You know, because I want to get back to running as soon as possible without aggravating the pain and, you know, delaying the delaying the recovery even longer because I have a plan to run the Boston, not the Boston, well eventually, but I have a plan to run the Dallas, BMW Dallas Marathon next year. It was just, it was just held the last week. And um, so around a year from now, I have until that, that happens again. So hoping to start training for that 20 weeks out around the end of summer, towards the end of summer, around there. I'm hoping, you know, I can run a couple, a few months before that actual training block so I can build my base back up and, you know, just get used to running decent mileage because I'm going to be running, you know, record mileage for myself during that block of marathon training. I'm just praying it all works out. But it's all about you know, accepting what it is, accepting the recovery that I'm gonna have to probably most likely sit out from running. But thankfully, nothing's broken. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's about being patient and using it as a way to learn. You know, learn about cross training, learn about keeping myself away from injury. You know, still learn. It's not about, I'm not, I'm not gonna quit. Like, I love running, I love PRing, I love, I just love the culture behind it. Burns calories, <laughs> keeps me in shape, good for your art, you know, good community behind it. And, you know, I enjoy making videos revolving running, which is, this is really the first video I've made about running, but yeah, I love to keep making vlogs more running journey, all that stuff. All right guys, so we're six minutes in and I'm gonna see y'all when I'm done. I'm back. I enjoyed the, I enjoyed talking. Those six minutes went by really fast. I'm gonna just talk for a couple more minutes. 
So yeah, another goal I have is to go back to school this coming fall. Like I said, I'm 24. I should have had my thoughts on track according to what on track is. I would have my master's degree or close to it, but you know, I'm still working on my bachelor's. School is just a struggle for me, you know. But there were some valid reasons for me not to go back or not to continue, but there are also some, this is a bad mindset at times. Not a good mindset. <laughs> hey, just, you know, I've applied to Arlington. University of Arlington, Texas. University of Texas in Arlington. I'm gonna continue my degree in exercise science, kinesiology. And you know, that's what I enjoy, science, exercise. I wasn't really big on science during high school, but see now that science is really important in terms of exercise because it allows for you to be as efficient as, efficient as possible based off research, you know, but it's also not something that, personally, I believe is a crutch because some people are different. Factors, external factors that occur can cause for you to, you know, just go against the grain at times. I don't know if that makes any fucking sense, but I still believe it's a good idea to inform yourself on what's, you know, true and what's not. Myths, facts. The research surveys, all this shit. And I'd love to go back to school and my best friend goes there. My best friend Rafael, so I'm not gonna be alone. So yeah. I just gotta do a few things. I'm almost done. I applied, I just need to, like I said, I need to do a few things to finish the process. And you know get hopefully get some financial aid to get some help to pay our tuition off and you know go back to school. You know, like I said, anyone can go back. It's, there's no age limit, but I love to do it now. Because, why not? I can. I will. I'm just gonna do it. And this time, I said I promise out to myself to not quit and finish where I started. And I hope I can record my journey as well. You know, what I do throughout the day, how a college student lives, well, me as a college student, we all have very different lives, and I love to record my journey, the unique, the, the unique aspects of what I consider to be my walk through education, fitness, health, and, you know, the experience of life. Running, running is something that allows me to see in a more clear fashion. So yeah, it's gonna be a good time, man. We just gotta stick to our guns and believe in ourselves. That's about it. Man, this is fun. I actually really enjoy talking to the camera while running at uh, 11 and a half minutes right now. So see you guys later. <laughs> Shake out run complete. Oh fuck. Shake out run complete. 20 minutes, two miles, and some change. And my heart rate, 125. You know, it's going pretty easy. Just to have the legs moving before my race tomorrow. You know, I'll be honest, I probably shouldn't have hit legs two times this week after not going uh, completely last week. Cause I'm a little sore, but you know, I picked my poison. I enjoy training my legs. I enjoy weightlifting, but with that came the soreness. So I'm hoping tomorrow it's not so bad. I'm gonna do some more foam rolling slash massage gunning when I get home. Again, just to reduce the amount of soreness I feel in the morning. You know, it is what it is. And yeah, I'm gonna go home and show you guys what I'm gonna make for dinner. All right guys, so final meal of the day. I'm gonna be making a hash brown bowl with some chicken and maple sausages. These are really good. Some more cheese. The seasonings, I'm gonna put that on the hash browns. It's the same seasonings from the chicken from earlier. Uh, some egg whites, and I'm gonna drizzle some mayo and sriracha on it. Yeah. So uh, after calculating the macros on my, my hash brown bowl, um, I had 190 calories left over for my uh, budget. <laughs> so this, this 
scratch bar thing is 180. And it's just a little crispy rice cake, you know, carb snack. So I'm gonna enjoy this. So I have 10 calories left over, which, you know, just gonna leave it there. Doesn't really matter, so yeah. All right guys, I have the final result right here. Kinda looks like a mess to be honest, but I promise you this is really good. It fills me up, you know, the hash browns, sausages, cheese, egg whites, mayo, sriracha. You know, it's just a good way to end the night. I'm gonna enjoy this meal, take a shower, and I'll probably see y'all in the morning. I'm gonna be up at 4.45 to get in some food and just get ready for my run tomorrow, so see you then. Good morning, guys. It's 5.03, I woke up like 10 minutes ago, changed, got the hat on, a little sweater because it's cold, blue Nike running shorts, and a Saucony Endorphin Speed 3s, been training in these in my speed workouts. And honestly, those shoes are so good, man. They look badass. They're probably my favorite shoes, and this is breakfast. I look so fucked. I look dead. Bang. Two sourdough uh, English muffins with some honey, my electrolytes, and I'm gonna eat this an hour an hour before the run. And then these two I'm gonna have at mile four, mile nine. Hopefully they come in clutch. So yeah, let's dig in. Something quick I wanted to show you guys. Um, so this is the amount of calories I burnt yesterday, according to my watch, which seems to be pretty accurate because I've been going off my watch. The last seven weeks on my cut, and I've lost a uh, weight. <laughs> I've lost a good amount of weight. I was 182 by the start of that, and now I am 167. That's like 15 pounds. I know some of it's water weight, but at, you know, eight, seven weeks, 15 pounds, maybe 14, 13, but still over 10 pounds. That's pretty good for seven weeks, man. But yeah, that was 2,600 calories I just showed you that I burnt. And yesterday I ate two, 2,090, which is 2,100 basically. So count if we subtract 2,600 and 2,100, that's a 500 calorie deficit, which is what I've been aiming for. So yeah, that's just a quick math. I did pretty well. I know it probably isn't a smart idea to cut and try to train for a marathon at the same time, but it just so happened to intertwine, and that's okay. I feel good. Even then, I have a good breakfast going on today. Pretty fueled up. This thing's gonna help. These are gonna help during the race. I tried them out a few times, and you know they sit well. In my stomach just got used to them. So, yeah, I'm gonna leave the house right now. Well, I'm gonna massage gun first. And I'm gonna leave, go to the gas station, get some caffeine, and I'll see you guys at the race location. We have the national anthem coming up in just a moment, so make sure you're prepared for that. In the meantime, just enjoy that Christmas tree and all the festivities that's going on around you. Uh, if you need to check in, I believe it's right here to the left of the stage. Thank you so much. Oh, there he is. Oh, nice. Oh, have a great one. Let's go, Hayir. Let's go higher! Let's go higher! We'll get some good photos for the website and for social media. Yes, sir. Hey, Sybil. Uh, in, the, in the meantime, what? while we're... My favorite. Alright, guys. Finally going home after uh, the race and getting some torchies. Not gonna lie. I don't know if you... Not gonna lie, usually Torchy's hits real well, real good because it's my favorite restaurant, but that wasn't that great. <laughs> but I had to eat something. All I had after the race was a half like half a banana and a bag of Lay's and a hot chocolate. Isn't really ideal, but you know, I had three pretty decent sized tacos, some protein. You know, but yeah, the race. I exceeded my expectations, man. I was hoping for a, you know, I said 130 would be a, you know, out of out of this world, but it'd be my uh, something I really I didn't really expect. I said it, I set out for it, 
got 128 basically. Well, officially it was like 157.59, something like that. But either way, it's sub 130. And I felt good, man. Mile four, it started getting tough. First three, the first four miles, they were, you know, pretty easy. But then mile four, hell, man. Started feeling a little tough, but I stuck with it, stuck with the plan. You know, went hard, but didn't go too hard, didn't you know, exhaust myself too early. And I was finally able to pick it up at mile 11. You know, mile 12, 13, pretty tough. Last mile, I got a 620, which is pretty good. In the last tenth of a mile, I just sprinted. <laughs> you know, uh, it was a good race, man. I placed first in my age group and sixth overall of all the runners, which I found really impressive for myself because you know I only trained like six weeks for this for this race. Uh, I kind of I kept I signed up at the beginning of the year. I kept delaying it. I wasn't even really sure I was gonna run it, but you know I stuck with I stuck with it. You know, created a plan for myself. Did it all by myself basically, but I always have the support of my family, so that always helps. So, yeah. Next up, um, I'm gonna be running the, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna be running the BMW Boston, or fuck. Next up, I'm gonna be running the BMW Dallas Marathon. I don't know if I said that earlier in this video, but yeah. I'll see you guys when I get home. Bye guys. I just wanted to end the video off here. Um, I got home, I just laid down. I got home like at one, now it's seven. So I laid down for like six hours. And I'm on my way to the, I'm on my way to the gym. I'm gonna hit a little pull session, some back and biceps, and yeah, um, I had fun recording this video. It's been a while, it's been months, but you know, it was a fun, it was fun getting things together, just you know, putting it into one. And yeah, it was just a successful overall successful weekend. Well, tomorrow's Sunday, so weekend's not over, but I'm gonna spend my day off tomorrow to just edit the video, hopefully have it done by the evening, upload it, have it up by Sunday night, Monday morning. So yeah, see you guys in the next video.